Oh. Oh. Oof. Well, I bet you never expected to see a review of a pair of tweezers on my channel, but this video is no joke about a review of a pair of tweezers. But these are no ordinary tweezers. These are SMD tweezers. Miniware have produced a pair of tweezers that incorporates basically all the functions you'd find in a multimeter. Let's check it out. Fortunately for me, I live in a part of the world where PCBs grow in the wild, but you might not be so fortunate, but that's okay because this video's sponsor is JLC PCB and they've got you covered. JLC PCB is one of the largest PCB manufacturers in the world. Personally, I've always been impressed with the quality and affordability they offer. JLC PCB now offer SMT assembly service, allowing their customers to receive complete ready-to-use circuit boards right out of the box without the need to solder fiddly surface mount components. With a multitude of design options, fast production time, and with five PCBs costing less than a cup of coffee, give JLC PCB your next PCB project. In the box you'll receive a unique cable for charging and programming the tweezers. And similar to the TS-80 soldering iron, the DT-71 continues Miniware's love affair with the audio jack connector. The rechargeable battery is located in the body of the tweezers. To get things started, simply plug the controller into the tweezers. During startup, the screen will display the current firmware version. After startup, the tweezers will be in resistance mode. The tweezers are ambidextrous and the screen auto-rotates depending on orientation. The user interface is as minimalistic as it could be, with only one touch-sensitive button located at the end. Short pressing cycles through the various measuring modes such as resistance, diode test, capacitance, inductance, frequency and voltage, while long pressing cycles through component identification, signal generator and lastly calibration. The body of the DT-71 is mostly constructed from plastic. It feels good in the hand and is fairly solid for such a lightweight device, weighing in at only 23 grams. Instead of a power button, the tweezers simply go to sleep after a customizable amount of time. To wake up the tweezers, simply close the tweezers. The tweezers are charged by plugging in the USB adapter into the tweezers and then connecting a USB Type-C charger to the adapter. There is a charging indicator LED located next to the connector. To program or update the firmware, connect the controller to the USB adapter and then connect the adapter to your PC via USB cable. Once connected, you'll see what appears to be a USB storage device. Inside you'll find a single file named cal.ini. Open it with a text editor such as Notepad. Here is where you can customize various settings such as sleep time, display settings and program a custom waveform for the signal generator function. You can find more info about how to customize these settings in the DT71 user manual. After making any changes, don't forget to save your changes before exiting. Let's move on to testing the tweezers. SMD components come in many different packages and sizes. Some are relatively large and easy to work with. However, the smallest SMDs are so small they're literally one sneeze away from being blown into the next postcode. <laughs> Measuring these tiny SMDs with a traditional multimeter and probes can be quite frustrating. This is where the DT-71 excels at picking up and testing these tiny components.
probably my favourite feature of the DT71s is the component identification function. To test this function I have four different components on the bench, a capacitor, resistor, diode and lastly inductor. It quickly identifies each component and displays the value on the OLED display. You can also use it to measure voltage on your circuits. Miniware also managed to pack in a basic signal generator feature. It can output a sine wave between 10 Hz to 20 kHz with a peak to peak value of up to 3 volts. And this is what the sine wave output looks like on my scope. It can also generate noise and pulse waveforms. Probably the only change I'd like to see implemented would be the option to have the controller remember the last mode I was using after wake up. It can be a bit annoying cycling through the options to get back to the same mode I was using last. And maybe this could be implemented with a simple firmware update in the future. Overall, I like the DT71s. They make working with SMD components easier and they save time by identifying components for me along with their values. Alternatively, if you really work with SMD components and can't justify buying the DT71s, a cheaper option is to buy a set of tweezers that can plug into your multimeter. But it's nowhere near as nice to use having a cord to deal with all the time and including the cord they weigh almost twice as much of that of the DT71s. So if you're into SMD work on a regular basis I highly recommend picking up the DT71s. So thank you to Miniware for sending me their SMD tweezers. My eyebrows have never looked better and those fiddly SMD components are now much easier to work with. Thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. I wonder if these are any good at nose hairs. Ow! <laughs>